Hey guys, Tim Moore with Faruno USA with a first look at Faruno's new FM4850 VHF DSC radio. Let's take a closer look at the FM4850 and what features it offers. First, it's a black box VHF that has built-in DSC capabilities. The thing I like about this feature is if you already have or are considering adding a Navnet TZ Touch or TZ Touch 2 to your vessel, you can initiate a DSC call directly from the MFD itself. It also offers a built-in AIS receiver. If you've ever had the chance to see or use AIS information, you already know how it helps add to your onboard situational awareness. Including the AIS receiver directly into the FM4850 simplifies installation in that you don't have to buy and install a separate AIS receiver, and it also gives you the availability to use just one single VHF antenna. Some of the other notable features of the FM4850 is its built-in 30-watt loud hailer that includes intercom and listen-back functionality, and also a foghorn with eight built-in programs to meet all of your potential needs underway. Other notable features are having both NMEA 0183 and NMEA 2000 connectivity, along with its built-in 72-channel GPS receiver that can be used simply by connecting an external GPS antenna. As you can see, it's a cosmetic match to Furuno's TZ Touch and TZ Touch 2 MFDs. And because this is a black box VHF, Furuno added connections for up to three full function HS4800 remote handsets, allowing you to add a handset anywhere on your vessel you would like VHF access. Now that we've talked about the features found in the FM4850, let's see what comes in the box. Starting out, we have the FM4850 transceiver itself, nice heavy duty cast aluminum case, built to IP67 waterproof standards, and as you can see, this is where all our connections will be made. The nice part about this unit, it is a black box. You can put it anywhere on your vessel you need it to go. We have the external speaker, the SP4800. As you can see, this unit comes with a bracket and knobs. But should you need to, it also comes with a flush mount gasket and is easily flush mountable. We have the fully functioning remote handset, the HS4800, that comes with a 5 meter extension cable and longer cables can be purchased. We'll talk about that when we get to the connectors. We have a flush mounting template, we have the operator's manual, and then we have a bag with accessories like the PL259 connector and screws to bracket mount it to the bulkhead. So now that we've talked about what comes in the box, let's talk about the connectors on the FM4850 itself. Taking a closer look at the connections available on the FM4850 VHF transceiver itself, we see we have three handset connectors which allow us to use up to three HS4800 fully functioning remote handsets on this unit, anywhere on the boat we need them to go. Each one of these handsets can be placed up to 30 meters away from the black box itself, and Faruno sells both 5 meter and 10 meter extension cables that can be daisy chained together to get you the distance you need to place these handsets properly. We have an NMEA 2000 connector that will just drop directly into the backbone already on your vessel. If I spin the transceiver around, we see we have flying leads that allow us to make the connection to NMEA 0183 if we need it, along with our loud hailer connections. We have a power cable allowing us to hook up the 12 volts DC. We have a GPS antenna connector, and what that's for, just to point out, this unit is a black box and can't see the sky and therefore can't see satellites, so to access the 72 channel GPS receiver inside of the FM4850 transceiver, we need to hook up an external antenna such as Furuno's GPA 017 antenna. And to the right of that, we have our VHF connection. And that wraps up our first look at Faruner's new FM4850 VHF DSC black box radio. If you need more information on this product or any other products, contact your local Faruner dealer or visit us at www.farunousa.com.